Mr. Brian Tellis, President Ima, Mr. Farooq Balsara, Media and Entertainment Chairman of Ernest & Young, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the speaker before me almost gave me the reason for me to be here among all of you this evening. I was thinking that I would come here because of my personal, particular commitment to event management services. Before I became IND Minister, I was Minister for Tourism and Culture for three and a half years. And I aggressively sold MICE tourism. We branded Incredible India. We spoke of Atati Deva Bhava and got a person like Amir Khan to back us. So it's a commitment which started a few years ago. I know, I was going through the report prepared by Ernest and Young, extensively uh, researched on, but the important chapter which I thought I should just briefly touch on was challenges, tasks ahead, and how to get this government become more sensitive to all of those people wanting to stand on their own feet and market India internationally, keeping in mind its civilization of 5,000 years. So I do realize that very different states have entertainment tax ranging from 25 to 50%. Service tax has gone up from 10 to 12%. And whatever you said, the TDS is cut in an unfair ratio. Thank God I wasn't, I am not at all anywhere near being the finance minister. But having, having espoused the cause of those starting TV channels, working with DTH, cable industry, the MSOs, the broadcasters, the radio, the FM operators, the community radio station uh, workers, or, uh, the, the universities which start community radios and so on, those who start print media. I have been espousing their cause with the finance ministry. We were successful in getting it reduced by 2% for the film industry only because it was completing a hundred years this year, so it was a big uh, gift for the film industry. But these things have to be fought for. The common answer we got from the finance ministry was that very soon there will be the goods and services tax all across the country. That will take care of your entertainment tax and the VAT. It will all become rationalized. But somehow that GST is not coming about. It gets postponed from year to year, so the fight must continue. I know the potential is great. You talk of 2,800 crores going on a 20% hike to 4,700 plus. But I do realize, and I knew some years ago when I was in my earlier assignment, that the international market for such events runs into thousands of billions of dollars. And India has a very small part of that pie, not even 8% I'm told. So that is where your challenge lies. Challenge with the finance ministry and state governments is a smaller challenge. Challenge to capture the international market and bring it to India is a much bigger challenge. And those of you are young, those of you who have uh, enterprised into this budding industry, I'm sure are in a mood to accept the bigger challenges. I quite agree with the report, which says that people have to be sensitized, to be educated in this particular direction. That's coming into every field of activity. Whether you go into the civil aviation field, you go into the hospitality sector, you come into the services sector, the world is for the special for specialization. Those days when I could arrange the wedding of my grandson or granddaughter by myself, I think are long over. People want thematic weddings, 
people want something special for their birthday parties. I have a grandson, four and a half years old, and he's already begun listing what all he wants for his next birthday celebrations, for which I will have to get an event management team to work on his day. So the thing is growing. Our, our mindsets are expanding. Our perspectives are getting bigger. It's how we look at that. If we look at a glass half full or a glass half empty. I think, I hope, all of you, you've made it good so far. I talked to some of your office bearers. They had stars in their eyes. They look at a future which really takes them to that 20% 20, 20 growth and further. Whatever can be done, from my ministry particularly, we are auctioning 800 radio stations in the next one year, FM radio stations, covering cities, with a population of one lakh plus, which is a tremendous opportunity. We have really set in place 200 odd community radio stations. Nobody pays attention to them. But they are the biggest instruments for dissemination of information to the rural population. And I am told in your report that that's where you are looking next, rural India. Their purchasing power has increased. They want to share the goodies as everyone else living in the urban areas. So let's work together. Whatever I can do by team, by joining all your efforts to request the finance minister, to pressurize the finance ministry, and to achieve some results for your industry, I most heartily accept that role and would be standing next to you in all that. I wish you all very well. I've had, I believe we've had a very good conference. The theme of the conference was time for change. That's what life is all about. Change sustains us. Change takes us forward. Hope is what we build upon. And that's what I wish your industry all the success in. Thank you very much.